Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be scientifically testing and reviewing the sad lamps from Lumi. That would be the Halo, the Vitamin L, and the Mini. Now, if you're from Europe, you might be thinking that I'm missing one, but they don't ship all of the models to the US currently. And as soon as I can get the rest, I will get them. When I do, you'll be able to find that information on our database or somewhere on our website. The main reason I got these is I was specifically interested in checking out the halo lamp. It just looks so cool and so different from all the other sad lamps that I just want to see what that was all about. If you're new to this channel, we like to test things. So what we did with these lamps is we put them one foot in front of our lab grade spectrometer and ran them for about an hour to get all of the data that we're going to present to you here. We'll start with the halo because that's the flagship model, and that might be the one that you're most interested in seeing. The first thing I noticed when I got it was that the box itself was very high quality. It kind of had like that matte, velvety finish to it. And then the unboxing experience itself was also nice. And then the lamp is basically just glass and metal. When you open it up, it just comes with the main lamp, and then you have to pull out the two metal rubber legs it comes with, and those attach right onto the back. The whole back of the lamp is a metal finish with this kind of copper tone interior. Around the front of the lamp is this sort of rubber finish that feels just fantastic. It just looks really beautiful. If you're looking for like a sad lamp that doesn't look like a white piece of plastic, you know, if you have a really nice desk, if you're like an executive, a lawyer, or you just like a classier desk, this might be the only sad lamp on the market <laughs> that is gonna blend in in that environment and is even just a great conversation starter. Like I, I can't imagine a single person looking at this and not asking like, what is that? What? Using the Halo is about as nice as it looks. On top of the lamp, you're just gonna find a power button, the Lumi logo, and then this sort of half circle button. In order to use it, you just tap the power button and it turns it on. And that's gonna turn on the front light as well as this nice backlight that shines off of the sort of copper colored metal. You can adjust the brightness and color temperature of the halo by sliding your finger across the Lumi logo. It's not super responsive. I found that it works best if you put your full finger across it and move slowly. And you have to sort of use the middle of your finger. You want full contact. Otherwise it's a little spotty. So if you go to use it, that is what I would recommend, but it's kind of cool either way. Now you can't change the color temperature and dim it separately. On its lowest brightness setting, the halo is putting out around 2,800 Kelvin. On its middle brightness setting, it's putting out about 4,800 Kelvin. And then on its brightest setting, it's somewhere around 3,800. So it basically combines those two. It's the brightest setting, but it's not the bluest or coolest setting. As far as the testing goes, we clocked the Halo in at around 6,600 lux at one foot. So it's not groundbreaking by any means, but it's pretty decent. I mean, it's gonna be an effective sad lamp. I wouldn't be too worried about that. As far as the Halo's marketing claim of 10,000 lux at eight inches, I was able to confirm that it does achieve that. So they did actually test their lamp. What is, in my opinion, a standout feature of the Halo is the fact that the glare is relatively low even on its highest setting. I define glare as just lux per square inch on the highest setting at one foot. So the halo is putting out about 108 and that's right where I like it. That means you can have this in your field of view and it just doesn't like hurt to have it there. You know, you can leave it on for a long period of time and you're not just annoyed at the sight of it. These are the lamps that I just made and they're very bright, much brighter than the halo, but they have a similar glare rating because they're a little bit bigger. So that's how that works. One other pro to the Halo is that it is completely flicker free on its highest setting. So if you're planning to use this on its highest setting, which you probably are for sad purposes, there's no flicker whatsoever. I really like that about it. Now there is one more button on the Halo to the right, which turns on the night mode, which just activates the warm colored LED and then you can dim that separate from changing the color temperature, which is kind of nice. One special feature, it's like the romance feature, is if the light is off and you tap both the power button and the evening button at the same time, it only activates the backlight, which just, I think, looks really cool. It has this really warm copper metallic glow that looks really nice at night. 
So yeah, that's the Halo. Lumi clearly paid good money to an industrial designer to make this because it is so fancy looking and so well built that I'm just blown away by it. It's heavy, feels nice, it's relatively bright. It has some unique features that other lamps don't have. If you're looking for just a beautiful like desk piece, almost like an art piece that also has functionality, this is definitely the one to get. So the next two lamps I have are the Vitamin L and the Mini. One thing that stands out to me, which is kind of ridiculous, is the fact that they have physical click buttons. Almost every sad lamp on the market uses capacitive touch buttons, including the Halo, but I, I don't mind the Halo as much just because it's just really well designed. I forgive you. But capacitive buttons are just so unsatisfying, you know? I just, I know I've seen a lot of people mention that. They're just like, can I get a click button? These have buttons and you can press them. It's groundbreaking. The only other lamp that I can think of that has a physical button that's sort of comparable to the Vitamin L or Mini is the Happy Light Alba. It's probably more comparable to the Mini just because of the size, but it has a lot of high frequency flicker that these don't have. So if that's something that turns you off, that's something to keep in mind. Both lamps are extremely simple. They have one brightness setting, one color temperature. You just click the button, turn it on, and that's it. That was easy. So if you're looking for a well-built, simple lamp, either one of them is a good option. The Vitamin L is a little bit more expensive than the Mini, but it also puts out more light at about 5,700 lux at one foot versus the Mini's 3,800 lux at one foot. As far as color temperature goes for these lamps, they're right at around 4,000 Kelvin. So it's a nice warmer light. Both the Vitamin L and the Mini are relatively flicker free. I detected none on the Vitamin L and a little bit of high frequency flicker on the Mini, but it's really not that bad compared to most of the other lamps on the market. So again, good design from Lumi here. Talking about glare again, both the Mini and the Vitamin L are right around 100 as well. So they're both comfortable lamps to use. The Mini claims 10,000 lux at 4.7 inches. I don't know who on earth would ever put a lamp five inches away from their face for an extended period of time, but it does achieve this. Now the Vitamin L claims 10,000 lux at 6.3 inches and I clocked it at a little over 11,000 lux. So they hit the mark here as well. These are all pretty decent lamps. I was blown away by the Halo specifically. Nothing really comes close to the aesthetic beauty that the Halo sad lamp achieves. Like nothing comes close. If you guys are in the market for a sad lamp, we have a database where we've tested every one that we can get our hands on and we are going to continue to flesh that out. So you can compare the stats from these lamps to all the other ones like the Happy Lights and the Alaska Northern Lights and Circadian Optics and all that stuff. So if you're looking to buy one and you want to make an informed choice, you can check out our website in the description below. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. See ya.